Okay, welcome back to another video. Today we're going over the weekly update as we normally do every single week. So today we've got the Sylvestra as the podium vehicle, but before we go spin the wheel, I want to get through the discounts first. Don't ask me why, I just want to do it. The little Taipan is 30% off. The Ennis Dilty is 30% off. The Streamer 216 is 20% off this week, so this one's not that much of a difference. The Tula is 30% off. Avenger upgrades. Wait, what did I just see? I saw like, holy moly. Okay, look at that price tag. I know this is a glitch. This is totally a glitch, guys. Do not think this is how much it costs for renovations. That's not how it is. Okay, so the Stealth Mortal and the Missilicon Gemma are both 30% off this week. Now, Let's go to the test the test rides place of where you can test them and there's also two more t uh, discounts as well so we're going to go ahead over there now. So I guess while we're on our way there I guess we could go over the double money this week. So double money this week is pretty simple they're both um, adversary modes so let's go over to them. Adversary mode here we go. So the first one is Tiny Races, which is double rewards this week. We also have another one on sale on double money this week, which is running back. Now something else that's been added into the game is also those uh, money trucks that you we used to have in the game from the very beginning. Yeah, they've been added into the game. And they've kind of been improved upon since the last time we remember them. So I remember back in the days there was like used to be like like maybe ten thousand dollars or something like that, maybe even less. Now that fifty k a k double money as well. So if it wasn't double money, it would be twenty five thousand. So I guess they have sort of improved it a little bit, but I'm not gonna show you that. But only because I don't see a point in doing it because twenty five thousand dollars, well fifty thousand dollars per hit, it's nothing really. But I will tell you this. There is some other stuff to be said about those things, like uh, access availability is every 10 minutes, there's a cooldown of every 20 minutes, and duration is 15 minutes. So my guess is that it could be like another challenge that you find in public lobbies or something like that, but that's only my opinions. I don't know, what do you guys think? Are you guys going to try and try and find those vans? Because I know I'm not. The Ocelot Swinger is 40% off this week. And this one's not on discount, but this vehicle is the Civil Taipan, which I believe I've already gone over. The only vehicle that seems interesting to me there enough for me to maybe consider buying is the Taipan. But let's go over to Simeon's place, because that's where another discount is. So let's head over there right now. Okay, guys, so, oh, wow. Um, bikes, 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 and more bikes. I am not test driving these bikes at all. Guys, I wouldn't test, I wouldn't test to drive a bike if it was the last thing on Earth. I'd rather stop doing my test, the test ride today than test drive a bike. I mean, come on. You, these bikes, they're literally nothing. I don't think they're worth it at all. The Dinka Akama, I can't pronounce these either. The Hatsu, Hatsu, I can't even pronounce these, man. And uh, the Western Hood Cliffhanger. That's the only one I can pronounce out of all of them. The um, uh, the Overfloating Morgan, which is 40% off as well. And we've got the Vapid Rata. Anyway, let's move on to the Alice Kami, see what they have there. Hopefully they don't have any bikes. I despise bikes. I will never test drive a bike. You will never see the you will never see a video where I test drive a bike. I will never test drive it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Guys, you will never see me owning a bike. Okay, I'm just gonna say that right now. You will never see me owning a bike. What's the challenge? We've got Place first two days in a row in the Pursuit series, so that's actually pretty easy to do. And what's this car called? It's called the Double Bachi 770. Not a bad looking car, I'll give it that. I just wish there was a way you could actually look at it from the back. But it looks alright. I mean, from what I can see here right now, it looks okay. You might want to consider getting it. 
what have we got here? We've got the Ubermensch Revolta, and we've got the Coil Brawler, and we've got the Vada Corvette Backfin. None of these vehicles really appeal to me, except for maybe the Brawler, and maybe the Ubermensch Revolta. I know the Revolta kind of looks like another vehicle I don't like, but the Revolta... It looks, at least the front looks a little bit better compared to those other cars. So, I I guess I can test drive these without thinking, uh, these are disgusting. Let's just spin the lucky wheel first, and then we'll go over the rest of the discounts. There's still some more, I'm just going to go over this first. Alright, let's spin the lucky wheel. But, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, we'll see you guys in the next one, bye!